Nokia C200 Common Problems and Solutions Nokia C200 Overheating The three components responsible for overheating are the phone sock, otherwise known as the processor, the second is the phone's battery, and the third is the screen. The phone is expected to heat up a bit. However, you can use the following trick to check if your phone temperature is high. The best way to test if your phone is really overheating is by placing the phone on your ears and cheeks, just as you would while speaking on a voice call. If you feel uncomfortable due to the heat, then yes, your Nokia C200 is overheating. Follow the steps below to fix it. Fix Nokia C200 overheating under normal use if your phone only heats up while charging, skip to the next section. The most common cause of smartphone heating issues is the sock, otherwise known as the processor, and the screen when used at high brightness. When your smartphone uses the processor aggressively, it heats up. Now to maintain the ideal phone temperature and prevent the heating problem, the heat is passed to the screen, then the heat is dissipated into the air in your hands. The best fix that works is to update the firmware. Overheating and a lot of other issues are fixed by manufacturers through firmware update. So I recommend you to check for updates and update your Nokia C200 if available. Sometimes there are multiple firmware updates, and those updates are installed one by one. So, make sure to install all available updates. Causes and solutions for the heating problem in Nokia C200 heat up while doing the following things on your smartphone is to be expected. Read tips after each activity to reduce it. The games while playing, your phone will heat up. This is normal. Take small breaks to cool down your Nokia C200. Huge cases fix Nokia C200 overheating due to issue high edge case get rid of the bulky bag. A bulky case doesn't mean your device will stay safe from drops. The best cases are cases with thicker corners. Buggy apps make sure to use apps from well-known developers and install all apps from Play Store. Buggy apps can overheat your smartphone. Update apps to fix overheating issue. Video recording extension The camera on your device drains the battery quickly if it is used for a long time. Unfortunately, it also causes your phone to overheat. Using the camera with the flash on will cause your Nokia C200 to heat up and drain the battery faster. Therefore, turn off the flash if it is not required. Run anything resource hungry Running anything that is resource hungry can heat up your Nokia C200. Apart from gaming, video editing, Wi-Fi hotspot, screen mirroring, and streaming are the common resource hungry tasks. Fix Nokia C200 overheating while charging It is common for the smartphone to heat up while charging. The phone gets hot because the charger should provide enough power to charge the device battery. New fast chargers are anywhere between 30W to 120W at the time of writing this article. Firmware update manufacturers can fix most issues by updating the firmware. Therefore, I recommend you to check for updates and update your Nokia C200 if available. Sometimes there are multiple firmware updates, and those updates are installed one by one. So, make sure you have all the available updates installed. Issue Remove the case while charging your phone. Without the case, Nokia C200 will be able to dissipate heat better and faster. Charger Use only the original, compatible charger. It is recommended that you use a charger of the same brand or an approved charger of your smartphone brand. Toys Do not play games while your phone is charging. As I told you above, heating up while charging is normal and expected from a smartphone. But if you play games, then the game will use processor resources intensively, and the processor will also heat up. Heating both the battery and the processor at the same time can be dangerous. Avoid it. Environment Charge your phone in a cold environment. If you put your phone in the sun, it will get hot. But unfortunately, we often don't think about it outdoors and charge our devices under direct sunlight. Do not leave your phone inside the car in direct sunlight. Instead, put it in the glove box. Fast charging Disable fast charging from the settings app. If your smartphone does not have a feature to disable fast charging, you can use an old charger. If the above tips did not help you, the charging port might have been damaged. Visit the nearest authorized service center to diagnose and fix your condition. Nokia C200 screen not working properly One of the important problems that you can encounter when using the Nokia C200 is that its screen is not working properly. As we know, the screen is the most important component of a smartphone. 
So if your screen is not working properly, it could be a big problem. It is one of the worst problems you see a end face when using a new device. Fix screen problems on Nokia C200. There are many reasons why Nokia C200 may not work properly. The first fix that you should try is to restart your phone. It will work most of the time if it hasn't tried the following solutions. Dirty screen. This is the most common cause of poor screen performance. Dirty screens are caused by dirt, dust, oil, grease, or liquids on the screen. If the screen is dirty, you can clean it by wiping it with a soft cloth. Do not use alcohol or other chemicals to clean the screen because the alcohol may damage the oil-resistant coating on the screen. Screen protector screen problems on Nokia C200 due to an old screen protector lazy man screen protector over time, screen protectors wear out and make it difficult for your phone to register touches. So, remove the screen protector and install a new one. Energy saving mode check if the phone's power saving mode is enabled. Power saving mode works by lowering the device's performance. This mode is usually disabled after the Nokia C200 is charged 15% and above. Water damage Nokia C200 screen problems due to water damage This is what the screen looks like with water inside Sometimes water makes its way into the screen. Sometimes it is visible, while at other times, it is not. If you suspect your phone has been water damaged, turn it off as soon as possible and put it inside the rice. If you run your phone with water inside it, components such as the motherboard may shrivel. You will have to completely replace the motherboard. Leave it in the rice for at least 24 hours. Then, if it is still not working, the best thing that you can do is to take it to an authorized service center to have it fixed. Damaged screen cracked edge smartphone cracked edge a damaged screen is one of the reasons why the screen is not responding. A smartphone screen has three main parts, the top layer is the glass, the second layer is the screen, and the third layer is a touch screen digitizer. Remove the case, if installed, and carefully inspect the phone for any cracks, scratches, or discoloration. It is much easier to spot cracks in the sun. If you see a rectangular grill, don't worry. It's a touch screen digitizer, and it's expected to be there. Color change due to cracked screen The screen is damaged if you see any cracks, scratches, or discoloration, then your phone screen has physical damage. Most of the time, the screen has to be replaced. I recommend visiting an authorized service center for the brand to have it replaced. Slow or slow user interface on Nokia C200 One of the main issues that people complain about most often is the slow, sluggish user interface on the Nokia C200. The sluggish user interface means that the animations may stutter. Also, it takes longer to open an app or do anything on your phone. If the user interface is slow, it hinders your phone experience. It would make it very frustrating to use. Sometimes the screen also freezes. So, if you are facing any kind of slow user interface on your Nokia C200, you should try these solutions. Fix laggy UI in Nokia C200 No storage space This is probably the most common reason for a slow user interface on any device. When there is not enough storage space on your device, all kinds of things start to happen. For example, apps are automatically deleted, and important data gets corrupted. It affects the overall performance of your phone. So make sure you have enough storage space on your device. If you don't, you have to clean some apps from your phone and free up some space. Lack of memory RAM is an abbreviation for random access memory. It is the device's working memory where all applications, documents, music, videos, photos, etc. are stored. The more RAM you have, the better for multitasking. At the time of writing this article, phones have RAM ranging from 1GB to 18GB. However, most phones only have between 4 to 8 gigabytes of RAM. If you have multiple apps, uninstall unnecessary apps. These apps consume RAM on your phone. The more applications, the more RAM is used. So there is no space available in the RAM of the operating system. You can also install the light version of apps like Facebook, Messenger, Twitter, YouTube and more. Older version of Android is prone to incorrect RAM management. Therefore, I recommend that you update your phone to the latest firmware. Malware Android devices infected with malware display ads on the lock screen Your phone might be infected with malware, which will slow down the device. If you suspect that your phone is infected, you can check it with a virus scanner. 
There are many excellent and reliable virus scanners available in the market. I recommend using one of them to check your phone. The device is old if you have an old phone and the phone is still working fine. The sluggish user interface is most likely caused by the phone's hardware. Over time, phone hardware may wear out and become sluggish. You can do nothing but buy a new phone in such cases. Nokia C200 Fast Battery Drain Does the Nokia C200 have poor battery life? Rapid battery drain on your device can be caused by several factors, anything from a bug in your phone's firmware or an app to hardware issues like a dying battery. Fix low battery life for Nokia C200 Screen Brightness One of the biggest causes of battery drain is high screen brightness. If you are constantly watching videos or browsing the internet, your screen will consume a lot of battery power. Therefore, you need to see H. Eck your screen brightness settings and lower them if necessary. The screen can adjust its brightness automatically. To check the automatic adjustment, go to Settings, Display, Brightness and turn on Adaptive Brightness. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS Using Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS on your phone drains a lot of battery power. That's because these three features consume a great deal of power. In addition, these three features are used by many apps on your phone to sync and communicate with other devices.